Grandpa Ken, that's me, reads old books. Kenamar Video Books Books that read themselves Denslow's Humpty Dumpty Published by the Dillingham Company New York, 1903 Humpty Dumpty was a smooth, round little chap, with a winning smile and a great golden heart in his broad breast. Only one thing troubled Humpty, and that was that he might fall and crack his thin white skin. He wished to be hard all the way through for he felt his heart wobble when he walked or ran about. So off he went to the black hen for advice. This hen was kind and wise, so she was just the one for him to go to with his trouble. Your father, old Humpty, said the hen, was very foolish and would take warning from no one. You know what the poet said of him? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men can't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. So you see, said the hen, he came to a very bad end. Just because he was reckless and would not take a hint from anyone, he was much worse than a scrambled egg. The king and his horses and his men did all they could for him, but his case was hopeless, said the hen as she shook her head sadly. What you must do, continued the hen, as she wiped a tear from her big bright eye, is to go to the farmer's wife next door and tell her to put you into a pot of boiling hot water. Your skin is so hard and smooth it will not hurt you. When you come out, you may do as you wish. Nothing can break you. You can tumble about to your heart's content. You will not break or even dent yourself. So Humpty rolled next door. He told the farmer's wife that he wanted to be put into boiling water as he was too brittle to be of any use to himself or to anyone else. Indeed you shall, said the farmer's wife. What is more, I shall wrap you in a piece of spotted calico so that you will come out looking as bright as an Easter egg. So she tied him up in a gay new rag and dropped him into the copper kettle of boiling water that was on the fire. It was pretty hot for Humpty at first, but he soon got used to it, for he felt himself getting harder every minute. He did not have to stay in the water very long. Soon he was quite well done. He was hard as a brick all the way through. So, untying the rag, he jumped out of the kettle, as tough as any hard-boiled egg. The calico had marked him from head to foot with big red spots. He was as gaudy as a circus clown, and as nimble and merry as one, too. 
he would fall from the shelf to the floor just to show how hard he was. After thanking the good woman most politely for the service she had done, he walked out into the sunshine on the clothesline like a rope dancer to see the wide, wide world. He went east, west, north, and south. He sailed the seas. He walked and rode through all the lands and all the countries of the earth. Throughout his long life he was happy and content. Sometimes, as a clown in a circus, he would make fun for old and young alike. As a wandering minstrel, he twanged the strings of his banjo and sang merry songs. So on through all his travels, he would lighten the cares of others and make them forget their sorrows and fill every heart with joy. But wherever he went, in the sunshine or rain, he never forgot to sing the praises of the wise black hen, nor the good, kind farmer's wife who had started him to life. Hardened against sorrow, with a big yellow heart in the right place for the cheer and comfort of others. The End This has been a Kenamar video book. Visit us at www.kenamar.com.